political I've heard you ever. There have been times I have gotten a little bit political on stream. Like, I usually don't talk about a whole lot of pol political issues here. My general viewpoint towards things is just like, let's try to make everyone happy. Or not everyone happy, but as many people happy as I can. That's generally where my political viewpoints come from. Like, what is the most benefit for the most people? And also, what is the best for the planet long term? So, like, I, I'm i very much considering myself an environmentalist. I, uh... The energy sector, I definitely have a whole lot of uh, criticisms of. I really don't like the reliance on... Whoa, that was weird. Um, on things like coal energy a lot of the time. I really wish that we had adopted nuclear to a much greater degree decades ago. Uh, but there's just such a negative connotation with it, with the public, that people don't want to rely too much on nuclear, and it's like, why? So, so, so much less emissions than things like coal. Like, what's better? Waste in the ground, that insecure facilities in the middle of bubblefuck nowhere, in places that get like a millimeter of rain per year, so it's probably not gonna, like, harm anything ever. Or, waste in the air that everyone breathes. So, stuff like that I can ramble on about. A lot about i i gave a presentation on nuclear energy in german to get my sprach diploma at the end of high school so my diploma that lets me take school or work in germany on the oral test i gave a presentation on nuclear energy <laughs> was the case uh, so i very much like that um what else are controversial political opinions i have i think electric cars are a little bit of a waste right now just because like they take so much to put into them like there's so much emissions that are done to make them in the first place and then the electricity that you're putting into it isn't green it's just that oh i got an email from the expo that's like thank you for an amazing weekend it just makes people feel better about themselves because like oh look there's no exhaust coming out of my car i can feel better about myself i feel green now where it's like there's probably a whole lot of emissions that are going into generating that electricity that you're putting in but it's all about making the consumer feel better about themselves. Like, it is possible that electric vehicles might actually become, like, good and efficient enough, and our energy sector might become green enough one day that it is more worthwhile. Like, I could see that happening one day. But it's not like that right now. But companies want your money now, so that's why they're going to sell electric vehicles. I think that there's a strong possibility of hydrogen for vehicles in the future. I think hydrogen vehicles could be a good way to go. Um, but with electricity, I just don't really see it right now unless we majorly change the energy sector to have a lot more green options and a lot more nuclear options because realistically, we can't change the entire energy sector to be, like, completely green. Um, I don't know, what else are other <laughs> other political opinions that I have that some people would probably think is controversial? Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to think about more later. Um, but generally, I just kind of, like, uh, I, I just want to do what's best for the most amount of people and what's best for like the planet which also has to do with like what's best for us long term anyway so like I don't know some people would probably like really be upset by those political opinions of mine but like it's probably not too too hot of takes I don't think I don't know but yeah let's see here people just like to complain and the biggest topics to complain about right now is absolutely politics especially in the states right now with the current political landscape US Air Force in 2010 bought 1,760 PS3s to build a supercomputer for the Department of Defense called the Condor Cluster. They use PS3s because it's more cost efficient. I'm going to have to Google that sometime later. That sounds amazing. Um, I don't know why they're scared Chernobyl scared everyone from nuclear power. That's absolutely what it is. Like, everyone's scared of, like, a major disaster. Even though if we count, like, the amount of deaths, like, per energy generate across, like, the different energy types, like, I'm pretty sure even a wind kills more people than, uh, than nuclear does. Hold on. Um, deaths caused by energy type per kilowatt or something like that? Whoops, I can't spell kilowatt here. Our world and data? What's this site? I remember seeing some stats about this before across several different sources. Like, everyone's just scared about, like, the big events that they hear in the news, not, like, the silent killers like coal is. Um, because you, you don't see stuff like that in the news. Let's see here. Coal, that is... Whoops. Here, just boobity bop. Um, let's see here. Yeah, look at nuclear there. What is the scale here? What is this? What is the scale? 
Death rates measured on deaths from accidents and air pollution per terawatt hour of electricity. Okay, so this is just like full on like deaths. This isn't like a times X amount or anything like that. Um, and when is this from? Data source, that from 2007, and this from 2016, that from 2008 to 2019. Yeah, so it's still pretty recent here. Yeah, like, what's the difference between brown coal and coal? I actually don't know. So, yeah, per terawatt hour, that's what it is. A watt hour is the energy delivered by one watt of power for one hour. Since one watt is equivalent to one joule per second, a watt hour is equivalent to 3,600 joules of energy. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So per every terawatt hour of electricity, one is brown. Yeah, that's right. That's the difference. Per terawatt hour of electricity, getting, I guess, roughly 25 deaths for coal, 32 for brown coal, whatever the heck that is. Whole bunch for oil, as many for biomass, that many for gas. Hydropower, that's what I was thinking. I think I was getting confused with wind. I knew that one of the green options caused, like, still a decent amount of deaths. It was, it was hydropower that I was thinking of. So, like way significantly less than coal and then you look at nuclear and it's like yeah in terms of the amount of people that it's killing it's like one of the best options we have wind kills more people than nuclear does look at some other stats you can see my typo here um global deaths per energy source oh this looks like it's the exact same statistic but on another site um this is that same site as before let's get so let's get a few different sources here um let's see here uh, what is going on here? Mortality rate deaths per trillion kilowatt hour. Okay, oh, what the heck is this? No, screw off. I I don't care. Yeah, there's a uh, coal China, coal US. 32. Oh, I like how it shows like the percentages of like how much energy it provides. Like what percentage it is of the uh, energy consumption there. Where's nuclear here? <laughs> Global average, 90. 11% of global electricity. 19. That's actually higher than I thought it was for the uh, energy grid of the states. It's 19%, almost a fifth. That's more than I thought it was. But yeah, like... 0 0.1 deaths per trillion kilowatt hour. Like... Nuclear is one of the best options we have. Like, I will die on that hill. <laughs> will be the uh, case. It's probably not too, too hot of a take to say, right? You can literally look at the stats. I know some people are also a little bit sketched out about, like, putting waste into the ground. Whoops. I need to go to the other layout is what I gotta do. Where it's gonna be around for, like, tens of thousands of years. Or maybe even just thousands of years as stuff is getting better. Especially if we do more research into, uh, things like fission of things that aren't just uranium. Like, what was the one that I was thinking of? I remember presenting on this in high school. Thorium. That was the thing. If we can properly research how to do fission with thorium, there's a lot of potential in that. But innovation in the field of nuclear kind of stopped like decades ago because there's not really all that much funding that goes into that anymore considering people don't want to support that because there's this whole negative connotation with it. But anyway, the other big thing about it, like putting waste into the ground. Um, yeah, again, even if that's going to be there for like thousands or even tens of thousands of years, who cares? It's not harming anyone. Like, if it leaks, what's it gonna harm? They are put in locations specifically so that if it does leak, what does it matter? Like, I think the biggest one in the States is in the middle of whatever desert it is that gets like a millimeter of rain a year. Like, what's gonna happen? What's realistically gonna happen there? And that's so much better than being in the air that we breathe. And you really think that's not going to still be around for, <laughs> for hell a long time either? Anyway, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's probably my most controversial political hot take there, most likely. I don't know. But yeah, brown coal must be that shit that you make from wood in Minecraft. Yeah, it probably is. Brown coal is lignite coal, fairly certain. Essentially really, really terribly efficient coal. Mm. But the kind of thing that people would still burn because there's just so much of it and it's so cheap. Um, very sorry, your dictator, your 100 page apology and six hour apology video will be out tomorrow. I was going kiss and wash your feet and beg for your forgiveness. That's good to hear. Chernobyl was a disaster due to human error. Yes. The Three Mile Island was a disaster due to human error. Fukushima was a disaster because of human error and the 2011 earthquake. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. And you think, like, we can learn from these mistakes and not make them in the future. But people are just like, oh, it's so risky, nuclear. There's so much risk behind it. It's just going to happen again. Like, it's just like such a loose cannon. They're just waiting to go off. No. 
uh, that's not how it works. <laughs> But yeah, my Minecraft is lignite coal is kind of why you know it's just inefficient coal, but not wood inefficient. Interesting. But yeah, uh, basically nuclear is probably the best and cleanest energy source we have access to right now. Yeah, absolutely agreed. Feast your opticals. Do you believe that that's a cobalt star shard? All right, let's continue with the video game here. It'll bring us to a total of four shards, won't it? We must retrieve it. Um, do I have other political hot takes? Um, okay, well, I'll go step on this then. Um, I remember I talked about it once during Assassin's Creed Unity when we had that whole, like, stream discussion about, like, gender and society and all that and how society sees gender. And I think that it's really silly that it's become, like, so ingrained in so many cultures that it's like, if you're a dude, you're expected to be this kind of way. If you're a woman, you're expected to be this kind of way. Like, there's certain connotations that come with that. And I just think, who cares? Like, <laughs> um, you got Cobalt Star Shard number four. Like, there's a political hot take right there. They're coming! Like, for example, ideas that uh, women are typically the ones that have longer hair, whereas guys are more so expected to have short hair. I sure don't care about that, evidently. Like, that's a pretty minor one. Um, to be one that people would actually stare at in a crowd, most likely. If you're a guy that's wearing, like, a skirt. Not to say that I'd ever wear a skirt, but if you're a guy wearing a skirt, it's probably only acceptable of, like, I don't know, you're Scottish or something like that. Otherwise, it's like, oh, that's, that's weird. Um, you need longer hair, that's right. I gotta grow it out more. Or, look at, say, shorts, where it's like, women's shorts, they're probably gonna be, like, super duper short, whereas with guys, it's gonna be expected to be, like, longer and baggier. It's like... Why can't women wear long and baggy shorts? Like, I wouldn't care. Um, <laughs> like, so there's, I guess, political hot take, I guess, if anyone cares about that. Or things like gender norms. Who cares, man? Um, thank you very much for choosing like YouTube travel. Have a nice day. Boy, oh boy, I've been shaking the bushes for you boys. Open them ears and listen to this. For once, it ain't got a thing to do with scoops. Yeah, this. I stumble onto something so big, it's even bigger than big. I saw her when I fell out of that mothership while it was flying over Yoshi's Island. Yeah, see, what happened was, I bounced right off Tobert's polka dot dome. Yep. Go up. It landed right on my noggin, my boogity. And that's when it happened. All of it. My, my, my memory came back. I was holding on to this in secret. It's a cobalt star shard. Oh, so we get to it like once? Yep, it's one of the same cobalt star shards that you've been searching for. If you find all the Cobalt Star Shards, you'll be able to save the kingdom. That's what you all believe, isn't it? But, but, boy harm went, no. Uh, even if you restore the Cobalt Star, defeating the shrooms will still be impossible. Yeah, I just, uh, I just arrive on stream randomly one day in a crop top. Uh, you plan on sweeping up all the shards, right, Whiskers? It is evil, isn't it? Don't! <laughs> Hold up. Also, I didn't even know what that term was until, like, I think it was Anima that told me what it was. A crop top. Like, I'd seen them before, and I had no idea what they were called. Someone around the channel told me what the heck the term was. Oh, Cobalt Star is attempting to communicate with us. I, of course, am programmed for translatification. Ahead. Ahead. Something ahead. A strong power beckons. Hurry, hurry. Sounds like we're on the correct pathway. Back to adventure. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. But yeah, um, let's see here. Wait. Let me get caught up on what where I was at. Four or five shards. You probably say you never thought of killing yourself in case Big Cool sends its hitman to you. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I can confirm that I have not thought of that. <laughs> let's, let's hope that Big Cole doesn't come after me here. Uh, hopefully there's not, like, a boss battle right through there. I need to heal up before that. Um, but yeah, also say that in case Big Air sends a hitman after you. Yeah, that's right. Gotta brace your inner femboy. No. Brace your inner femboy and wear a skirt today. I don't own any. <laughs> I'm, not trying, <laughs> I'm not trying to apply that I own any. And, uh. But yeah, that is the uh, the one mil subspecial. That's right. 
He would sub for that. That was right. One mil sub special. Just go full femboy. <laughs> but yeah. The pole industry is basically a stranglehold on politics. Yeah, you're honestly right. Shroopside must kill. Oh, thinking of things that uh, have a little bit of a stranglehold on some political aspects. Here's another hot take. The uh, doing taxes in Canada and the US. I don't think that it's this way in Europe, but I know that it's this way in the US and Canada where it's like the government knows how much you owe them. And then when you go to pay them, figure it out. Good luck. <laughs> We know how much you owe us. We're not going to pay. We're not going to pay you. We're not going to tell you how much you owe us, though. You got to figure it out. And if you don't figure it out right, I guess you're going to jail. Um, and the reason for that is because of agencies that do your tax for you, like TurboTax, give the government a lot, a lot of money to keep it that way. So, yeah, it's all about who's uh, who's paying who money. Like, come on, just tell people how much they owe you. Like, <laughs> nope, they would rather, uh, they would rather get that sweet payday from, uh, those that pay them a lot of money to keep it that way. Like, I hate that so much. So there's another political take of mine. Um, would that one be considered that hot? I don't know. <laughs> you hate that BS? Like, I feel like that'd be the kind of thing that'd be hard to defend. Hey, taxes, but I must do them or else my shins are gone. That do be correct. Also allows a ton of loopholes for billionaires. Yeah, you're not wrong. Is the title of the stream applies to the subject? What I titled the stream again? Mario and Luigi commit time tax fraud gone wrong. I just randomly come up with my stream titles and I forget about them. <laughs> yeah, it does apply, doesn't it? Yeah, Mario and Luigi accidentally commit time tax fraud. Just because they were too dumb to know figure out how much they owed the government. Is the reason why they committed tax fraud. Because the government refused to tell them. Screw the Mushroom Kingdom. Um, is there any other political take that I would have that's, like, hot? I wonder. Um, mm, I don't know. I know that, like, one of the super big, like, controversial thing Bob's right now is people debating about, like, hit free badge. Um, the whole subject of, like, those that are transgender because... Uh, I think the media puts a lot, a lot of attention on it when it affects, like, a very small portion of the population because they'd rather distract away from the issues that affect, like, a greater percentage of the population, I would definitely say. Um, but my opinion on that is, like, let people do whatever the hell they want to do. I don't care. Uh, uh oh please. I do think that the topic of it applied to sports, though, is, like, yes, there can be an unfair advantage there, and... We should try to act in fairness in that regard. Um, whoa. But, like, so that could definitely be considered hot by some people. But, like, in terms of people, like, do whatever you want to your own body. Like, I don't... What do I care? Not like it affects me. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, let's see here. Once heard a friend in high school was actually excited. It was W2s. Why? Whoops, I thought I was still under the thing. Gosh dang it, why is anybody excited to do taxes? That's what I want to know. What the heck? Here, and then, come on. Definitely have some very spicy ones for being a US citizen, that's fair. But in Europe, it's fairly, a uh, wah. It's fairly normal to have opinions, but in the US, my opinions are communism. Yeah, I swear, you, uh, that's from what, that's what I hear online. Like in the US, you, uh, want things to get a little bit more, uh, more socialist. And it's just like, oh, you're a, you're a communist. What the heck? Oh, I can just jump this. Oh, what the heck, man? Communism detected on American soil. That's right. Like, someone wants to vie for public health care or something like that in the States, and people are like, oh, that, that communism is what you're proposing. Why should you have to pay for uh, for other people's, other people's stuff? Like, it works in Canada. It works in Europe. Like, there are so many examples of places where this is currently working. Like... But nope. Nope. Can be branded a heretic, which in the States, a heretic is a communist, right? Man, this is the super political stream, isn't it? Um, here, let's hammer the thing, Bob. And I really, really hate how with so much media and like with so many echo chambers online, 
it's so much of like either you're with us or you're against us and there's no in between there's nothing there's nothing else going on there but yeah I straight up am a socialist that's fair that is more than fair there still though you say communism is just a buzzword that's been around since the 60s that's kind of what it feels like at this point I think people have pretty much realized that like true communism doesn't really work it's one of those things that gosh dang it that would work in theory but literally never work in practice because people are people um and it's always going to be abused um i can make that distance right gosh dang it gosh dang it get out of here here um and honestly hot take communism isn't this evil thing the us wants to depict it as as it has its own problems but the real problem the USSR wasn't communism, is that it was a dictatorship? Yeah, and the problem is that, like, it can so easily be turned into a dictatorship. That's the problem. A spicy take for even Europe, then? Pulp versus no pulp orange juice? If you're not with me, you're a dirty pulper. Oh, in Europe, that makes more sense there. Um, and one thing that I was thinking about, uh, rambling about on stream at one point, thinking about, like, us versus them things. If I start talking about this, I'm gonna be talking about this for a little while. Um, it's something that I've noticed around online a decent bit, where people are either lumped into one group or the other, and people will just hate, like, one group or one side so much that they, like, decide their viewpoint before they, uh, before they even see, like, the content or the arguments of the other side. Like, to use one example from my channel, I've seen some people say that they disagree with everything in one of my video essays, like my Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video essay, for example, when realistically, it's a seven hour long video essay with a lot, a lot of different points. There's lots of things I like about the game and lots of things I disagree with about the game and or that I don't like about the game. So the chances that somebody actually disagrees with every single thing I have to say in the entire video is like so dang slim to none. But just decide like from the get go that that's the case. Like that was that's an example from like a couple of years ago when I first saw someone saying that they disagree with everything I have to say. But one example that I've seen that crop up like, apart from the current American political landscape um, that I've seen, is since I like to browse around Twitter for sometimes for memes for my uh, going live notifications, is the situation with, like, Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, and KSI with their new Lunchables competitor that they rolled out that was called Lunchly. Maybe I'll save one more time after grabbing those items, just in case I need to reload that save and then, like, heal and not re-grab the thing or bobs. Um, where those three creators are rolling out a... Uh, a, a Lunchables competitor where it's gonna have like some of Mr. Beast's chocolate, some of Logan Paul's Prime, and I don't know what the heck KSI contributes. I don't really know much about KSI, um, but it's a but it's a Lunchables like counter there, um, and I don't know all of Dante DM's take, but the main thing that I saw about that was, and I don't really know much about him as a creator, but the main thing that I saw about that, yikes was him being like what the heck is going on with creators here like they're just clearly trying to make this for profit and it's like well duh like isn't that isn't that obvious but a lot of people seem to latch on to that being like wow you tell him he wrecked them by saying that they're clearly just in it for profit and it's like obviously the, the, wh what do you think it was they're they're making like a uh, product that they're selling just purely out of the goodness of their heart like what is it one of the main reasons why people would do content on a grand scale because they are doing it as a business that they're profiting out of um but yeah let's just see here this is just logan paul's boyfriend jk <laughs> that basically pulled out a captain america at the end of endgame all right maybe i'll have to look more into what he was saying because like from what i saw being paraded around online was just people endlessly quote retweeting the one line that was like, oh, what the heck is going on with creators? They're clearly just doing it for profit. Like, man, this just ruined it for me. The fact that they're doing it for profit, like some line like that. That's the thing that I've seen been put on a pedestal and everyone is quoting like, wow, he wrecked them saying that they're just doing it for profit. Like, that's so obvious though. Like what? <laughs> and I'm just genuinely so confused, but I felt like a lot of people look at just that and don't look any further into it and just decide like, oh man, he wrecked them just because like the bias against the other guys was so strong. Or another really good example of that would be like from a little while back, that'd be Dream, where like, this is gonna be super controversial to say, 
I don't like Dream myself. I think that I always thought that he was like pretty creepy and weird and cringy. Um, but the fact that the bias against him was so, so, so strong that even in situations where it's like, okay, he is in the right, it, people still make him out to not be. It's like, okay, come on. Can we not look at this objectively here? Like there was a whole drama that was going on like a year ago, something like that, where there is this drama situation between Dream and the voice actor of Gumball. I forget what his name is, where they were apparently beefing with one another. And then Dream put out this video of uh, the voice actor of Gumball actually being like, a really really big dick and seeming like he was very obviously in the wrong um but there didn't seem to be all that much backlash towards him on that the backlash was towards dream because the bias against him was so strong or when he first did the uh the face reveal and everyone was like he's ugly oh my goodness he's so ugly well it's like you know he was actually a pretty good looking guy like i don't know how someone could look at that and just decide that it's like so insanely ugly like what but when the bias against the other guy is so strong and people just want to hate. Uh, again, I don't like Dream. I never really have. But you shouldn't let one's bias against someone take away your ability to look at things objectively. And that's been something that I've been thinking about a decent bit lately with the, uh, with that situation with Lunchly there was the case. But yeah, I mean, honestly, can't really say how easily communism is corrupted. After all, true Marxist communism is something that never really existed. The people behind the uprising in Russia into, in the USSR were never interested in Marxist communism. And then they kind of controlled global communism. Yeah, they were a pretty big sphere of influence for that. Um, it's less about the profit and more about how they're trying to market as a healthy to their child audience. Yeah, that's a really big issue there. I agree. And I did see some people talking a little bit about that. And if that's something that he was getting into there as well, then yeah, that's absolutely like a fair argument to make. Um, they're promoting something that's been proven to be unhealthy. Yeah, and that's absolutely something to criticize it for. But I swear, the thing that I see quote retweeted and put around the most is the thing about where it's just for profit. I haven't seen as much discussion about the uh, about the unhealthy part. I have seen a little bit, and I saw that like all three creators had like separate takes to it, where Mr. Beast responded like, "Oh, we're just trying to do like a healthy alternative." And like, if it's just a healthier alternative to something that people are already getting for about the same price, and that's a good thing. And it's like, okay, that, he probably had the best response out of the three, but it's still not really all that fair to say that's all that healthier of an alternative. I think I saw that KSI's response was just going to Dan's merch and being like, oh, this is the stuff that you're selling? Wow, it sucks, pretty much. And Logan Paul is like, what? This stuff is amazing, isn't it so great? And the community notes was like, uh, no, this is the issues going on with Prime. And then Logan Paul would be like, well, our competitors have a drink that has at one point been known to contain lead or something like that. And then community notes is like, there have been multiple cases where lead has been found in Prime. Uh, it's just so funny to watch. <laughs> it's back and forth. Anyway, but all three creators' responses to it were really, really poor. Um, is very much what it seemed like from what i saw at least my dream weird and you're a big fan of when the gumball voice actor made fun of him yeah a lot of people were but like and initially i was a little bit inclined to think that as well but then when like the video came out it's like oh the dude that's voicing gumball is very clearly being like a massive dick here um it's like yikes We've forgotten like a grain of sand in the Sahara with a 1,000 billion million particles of sand. There'll all be a statue erected in gold. How or however it was, was is a sick line. What was this in? Also doesn't help when the guy in hot water is collaborating with two known scammers. Yeah, like I, <laughs> here's my controversial take on the whole Mr. Beast situation there. Now that we're talking about that. Um, I still generally like him and what he does. The whole situation with like, uh, what was it called? Illegal lotteries is like, that seems like a genuine mistake that someone can make because I've hosted illegal lotteries here without realizing that it was an illegal lottery. There was one of my 24 hour charity streams where I had two copies of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So I decided to give one of them away to just someone that donated and like people that donated, they would get like entries into my giveaway there based on like how much they donate and there wasn't a free alternative. Turns out you need to have like a free option for people to enter if you don't want to be in a legal lottery. And I didn't have that and I didn't realize it was an illegal lottery. I remember that Mortis was the winner of that lottery and I sent him the copy of Xenoblade 3 along with a whole bunch of 3D printed stuff because I wanted to do something like nice and cool. So 
I'm guilty of that, and I never realized I was until this situation came out. So it seems like the kind of thing that you could genuinely make as a mistake. Um, but yeah, and I don't know what it's like in Canada. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I'm not a... Uh, yeah, I should just say that people can mail me a letter of entry for a... Uh, <laughs> do something like that in the future. Um, but yeah, so that seems like a mistake that could be made. Um, I do think that there should be a response at some point about like, hey, is there scripting going on in the videos? Like, I do think that the videos are like really good and high quality, but there should be some transparency on, is this real? Because that's very much been a part of his brand for a long time, is making the videos feel like a lot more genuine than a lot of creators out there. Um, so, like, I feel like there should definitely be a response on that front. What were some of the other things that he was accused about? Um, I know that those were a couple of the big ones. Um, really not a big fan of him being in bed with, uh, known scammers that still owe fans millions. Like, you know, that's something that I'll absolutely criticize him for. But still, generally kind of like the stuff that he does. Does a lot of charity work, and I very much respect that. And when he says that he intends on, like, spending everything that he makes, I genuinely believe him when I see the stuff that he does. But that doesn't mean that he's, like, completely perfect, and there is some situations here where it's like, okay... That's not super cool. <laughs> I will, I will admit here is the case. But yeah, I mean, one of the major parts of Mr. Beast dramas was chocolate was unhealthy. And I, but I mean, no shit. Yeah, stuff like that, where stuff like that is going to suddenly get controversial just because like people want like an excuse to hate when they see someone that they really want to not like. It was that way with Dream as well, where it's like the bias against the other guy was so strong that he can't even say anything. And there was a lot of stuff to criticize Dream about. Don't get me wrong, but you should still be able to look at things objectively outside of the bias. I mean, you see that a whole lot with the US political landscape now as well. <laughs> it's worth noting. Um, yeah, let's just see here. Um, so when the government holds a lottery, it's okay, but when I do, it's against the law. Yep. And that's something where it's like, what the heck even? Why is that? <laughs> Why is that the rule? Yeah, dog pack guy made it, has kind of dropped the ball. Like fake abuse allegations, one in trillion chance. Yeah, for like the dream situation there. <laughs> and, the, and then the whole hiring like a, whatever it was, Harvard professor or what it was to prove that this is totally reasonably possible. Like, no, just admit that it was modded, man. Um, but yeah. Um, and when you say drop the ball, mean like, uh, in terms of getting a lot of that going or drop the ball as in said that a lot of the stuff that was being accused before wasn't actually the case. Like, the so are the abuse allegations then for sure not real? I know that there's like drama around Mr. Beast right now as well in terms of like the set of the Amazon show apparently wasn't super great. Apparently there are people that were like injured and mistreated and stuff like that on like the Amazon show that was going on. So we'll see what ends up happening with that situation. But yeah, let's see here. Um, Mr. Beast's secret CEO was a video that Dogpack shouldn't have uploaded. Very dangerous. Wait, secret CEO was a video that Dogpack shouldn't have uploaded. Very dangerous. I don't understand this sentence. I'm sorry to say. Wasn't part of the branding supposed to be the thing that it was quite healthy for chocolate when it turned out not to be? Was it? I never looked all that much into it, but if that was the case, then that's a little bit silly, I find. <laughs> I've hired a Harvard mathematician to prove my lunch Lee is healthy. That's right. Whose allegations was for his cousin, who is the secret CEO. Oh, sounds odd. Um, and like something that I'll probably have to look into sometime later because I don't know enough about the subject and will admit that I don't know enough about the subject to be able to properly talk on it right now. Uh, monster! Did it danger? Cobalt star. Oh, thinking about, uh, thinking about monstrous people. That reminds me of one of the things that there was drama with him for was the whole Chris Tyson situation where he was being like a major, major weirdo and potential threat to kids and saying a lot of things that you should never be saying to kids. Mario, my, my sketch, my edge of sketch, the sketch I drew, the answer is there, the hidden answer. Whoa. Rub the sketch, the dirt smudge, rub it. Did we never do that before? But yeah, I'm fairly certain that was the whole point was that it was a healthier alternative. Was it? Because I remember like a lot of the marketing was about how it tastes better than uh, than Hershey's. 
and them really trying to drive that point home and like really really trying to dunk on Hershey's as best they can and it kind of surprised me thinking like are they allowed to do that just like majorly shit on competition like th that kind of surprised me there uh same with Mr. Beastburger did they preach that that was a healthier alternative filed a request for information from the courts but he released the video and dropped the allegation before the request was done and only said allegedly on some of it but that still isn't good Use the stylus to rub away the dirt, smudge, and clean the sketch. <laughs> this really clears it up, doesn't it? It's probably going to be something over here, right? Yeah, it's this. <gasps> oh, no! It reveals that all the people that we've been shit-talking are completely clear of all wrongdoing all along! Uh, Mario... What you see there is... It is a boss battle, isn't it? Oh, they're getting shroomed! Wait, are people turning into the shrooms? Is that what's going on here?